like conversation here. If you like this content, please like the video and subscribe for more content every week. Today I'll be discussing uh, the greatest argument against racism. Less than 200 years ago, the theory of evolution was proposed. Um, and this has caused some major change. It revolutionized the field of biology, but it also impacted other fields as well. It impacted philosophy and the way we view social issues. Uh, the secular movement of today includes both a strong, convic strong conviction in science and evolution and in socially being anti-racism. Um, some people see this as a major contradiction. Evolution allows for differentiation, which breeds differences. Equality is not a biological concept. Uh, the political idea of equality um, has been contested by evolution and its rise. Um, some people question uh, if physical changes like skin color and facial structure uh, can change among the races, uh, why can't intelligence um, in a more subtle way? Um, does that allow room for racism to enter? Um, cultures emphasize different things. A culture placed in a very fertile valley, valley would have a surplus of food, and this would allow intellectualism to thrive. Um, but if you are placed in an environment where there is not a lot of food, survival and strength is going to be emphasized over the abstract thought uh, that we view today as um, intellect. Does this allow for different different people of different regions to evolve different characteristics. Um, one argument against the political idea of racism is that there's no fair arbitrator. Uh, the differences between races um, are very small and it does not make sense politically to play favorites because no person can come into that argument without a certain bias. Um, the biological argument is we cannot survive separately. Um, when two groups are isolated, um, they branch off and they become two different species. If humans had gone down a different path and had not met each other um, in the different parts of the world for millions of years, the results when they did make contact with each other would be devastating. Um, two race or two different species that both have the power of consciousness, both have a strong mental capacity, but who do not share um, the same, uh, most of the same features. Uh, these two civilizations or three civilizations or however many there are would have a major clash which would have devastating consequences. This is one of the reasons why even if evolution does allow for um, for variation, why as humans we should still uh, be open-minded and we should support the ideas of equality even though they do not necessarily always line up with the biological model. Um, if you like this video, please um, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.